You all right, Donna? Yes, Lester. Why? There's a couple of black guys following you. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. You're also black. <laughs> Have a good day, then. Well, I guess I'm back in the South. We both wrote for Family Guy, and uh, I actually started at the beginning of Family Guy and uh, pitched Cleveland in the room, and I would just pitch jokes for him as the seasons went on, and there just seemed to be a lot more to him than there was space for in Family Guy. And I was at Family Guy long enough to sense that this could be a real gravy train, so I kind of jumped on. My name is Cleveland Brown, and I am proud to be right back in my hometown with my new family. He has Junior, and there's two kids that Donna had, so we just said, okay, they're a Black Brady Bunch. Who are the drinking buddies? All right, who's our talking animal or ghost? Um, well, Mike, you make it look, look like it's just a rip off a of Family Guy. I mean, that's not know. what it is. Oops. I dropped my pencil. I wonder where that pencil has gone. It's blue, it's it's a little dash of raunchy and just pure fun. It yeah. really is beautiful. And it has a little more soul, you know, than Family Guy. Yeah. Naturally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, what time you gonna bring her home? T Ten o'clock. Great. Have fun, kids. Don't drink too many sodas. <laughs> Cleveland has the sense he's got it all going on even when he has no idea what's going on. And he always maintains a little level of dignity. Right, and, and, it's its and own... he carries being 40 pounds overweight in, in a small bathing suit with extreme confidence. And, right. And just, you know, you want some of this? <laughs> I used to imitate people all the time, like in high school and college, and, <clears throat> and Cleveland was just a guy I was playing basketball with who says he's from Merlin. I was like, Merlin? He's like, yeah, Merlin. Oh, Maryland. Yeah, Merlin. So, I just kind of took that little little nugget and, you know. And what percentage of the show does that guy have now? Uh, I have no idea who he is, so. <laughs> That's lucky. Yeah. Cleveland pulls his shorts up, filling them with air. He now has a giant air bubble over his crotch. He notices it and smiles, then pokes at it with his fingers as he sings. <laughs> if you're alone in the elevator, which is kind of scary to be with Wait. Mike Henry, he'll, he'll go, if I could, I'd like to be. I'm like, <laughs> you're looking at him going, right? Like, what, the, what the hell? This guy, yeah, he knows Mike, I, said, I said, I think he thinks he's black. And I'm like, that's cool. All right, that's cool. That's perfect. That's perfect for our show. Oh, okay. We're having fat people stay at our house now and nobody runs it by me? Watch your mouth, Rollo. Roberta. The key to my character was just loud, like, Cleveland! Cleveland, you know what I mean? Just everything is really loud. <laughs> and that just it made it, I don't know, she became Donna. <laughs> is she the one you used to look at naked through her bedroom window from the ladder when you used to? <laughs> I don't even know why I told you about that. With Cleveland Jr. Dad, a girl kissed me on the lips today, and it felt like I peed a little bit. <laughs> so that's what... <laughs> Oh, God. That's Cleveland Jr. Yeah. <laughs> ah, a bear! Ah, a black man! Ah, you see? It doesn't feel so good, does it? It's very reductive. Well, uh, when the, uh, it, uh, anyway, don't, don't worry about it. You, you must be Cleveland! We'll get Seth to a couple table reads. He is the voice of Tim, uh, the bear. Yeah, I mean, Seth is the first person to say he, his idea was to help create the show, write the pilot with us, but I think his sense is get it up and running and then it's your guys right. to drive into a ditch or drive safely. And I think if he felt what the hell was going on here, you know, he would, uh, you know, probably fire Mike, but that's <clears throat> <sighs> This is the Cleveland.